In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we say the prayer of preparation together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning and warm welcome to you, my brothers and sisters, to the very first Sunday service that we hold um, in the new year. This year begins with um, this special Sunday called the Baptism of the Christ. And and this is the day that we are going to be reminded about the teaching which Jesus himself did to um, to all of us. And and that is the day when we're going to be reminded about the meaning of our baptism, the foundation of our lives together as the follower of Christ himself. And a warm welcome to, um, especially, you know, Denise, who's going to be, um, you know, the baptized, um, you know, today. Um, and then um, he lives actually just around the corner, the opposite side of the church. So when we actually holding a, um, you know, the Zoom meeting, he was actually, oh, Father, do you want to see your house? He took his phone and then turned around and I could see my house and the church. That is a very nice experience for me to see myself and I didn't actually wave but It was lovely. And then um, he has been um, with us for several months now and then it is nice for us to have an adult baptism. Of course, you know, the you know, child baptism is also joyful but It is also nice for us to have the fully grown up, ready to confess Jesus Christ is Lord. And and that is going to be what we're going to do um, today. But before we go there, let us bring our conscience and let us ask the Lord to forgive all our guilt so that we may be ready to offer our prayers to God. We say together, Father eternal, giver of light and grace, We have sinned against you and against our neighbor in what we have thought, in what we have said and done through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, Lord, 
Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, please be seated for the first and the second reading. reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 of them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. If you can, would you please stand for the gospel? Alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locust and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me, and I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens from apart, torn apart, and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, please be seated. Happy New Year um, to you all, my brothers and sisters. Um, what an ending um, last year, 2023, and then beginning of you know, 2024. Um, it was a very strange year, not only to... Um, you know, to many, um, and also to me, and then um, the end of the year, and then just before we coming into this new year, and then I had a COVID, and then um, it was okay in, in a way, um, but one of the side effects that now I feel um, is, is a, it, a short breath. Um, if we, when we sing, um, you know, the Gloria, for example, Glory to God in the highest. Blah, 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 blah. You, you know the tune. And then it used to be a um, whole one breath that I could sing the whole part. But now um, it's just here and then. <sighs> yeah, so uh, that, that's me. So if you sing, if you see me singing him awfully wonderful, um, awfully wonderfully. Um, you know, um, this Sunday or the you know, next you know, couple of Sundays to come, and then you know why. Um, it's, it's just uh, out of breath. Um, but apart from that, um, it was okay, and, and um, I, I sent my um, special um, you know, warm heart and prayers for those who could not join us because they are unwell you know, at the moment. Um, we pray that um, you know, they get well soon um, so that they can actually join us um, in our worship together. Um, as I briefly um, explained um, earlier um, at the beginning of the service, today, later, soon, um, you know, uh, Denise, who leaves just around the corner, um, will be baptized. And then I assume that what I'm going to say now, um, you all already know, because this is quite a bit of a foundation. And then as a baptized Christian, or as a Christian who are practicing um, Christian faith, um, I believe and I pray that you already know this very clearly, 
and then it is now you who put these faith into the practice. But um, to um, the Denise who are going to be baptized, um, I'm going to tell you something about the baptism. And then, as I said, we clearly um, believe that, and we know that people already know this. So um, I don't even need to go and see them. Okay, let's ignore them. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, baptism is very important. Baptism is very important, but there is a reason. There are some reasons why we say the baptism is very important. Um, the baptism is one of the activities that we do in the church, and, and that is also what Jesus did. Anything that linked with what Jesus did, we call it, we, we, we treat them specially. So, for example, his very first miracles, um, he did it at the wedding, someone's wedding, in Cana, in Galilee. So, we know that Jesus had been to the wedding, and then, therefore, we treat wedding ceremony very specially. And then there is a teaching um, of the weddings, how we form the family, etc., etc. There, there are loads of teaching linked with um, wedding because Jesus was done it. And also baptism, as we heard, we just heard, Jesus himself was baptized by John. Some people call it John the Baptist. Depends on what sort of you know, translations that to use. But today's gospel, Matthew's gospel, in translation that we use in our church, sometimes we call it John the Baptizer. It doesn't make any difference. It's the same John. Not the John, one of Jesus' disciples, but John the Baptizer or the John the Baptist, um, who will later died. And then he was a very mysterious, you know, the person. He came from the city area. He never lived in the city area. Um, he came out from the residential area, and then he came out to the wilderness. And when you see the map of Israel, if you see the map, the wilderness is somewhere in this side. And then he was a man who used to proclaim this. He used to shout in the wilderness, saying, Repent! Repent, he said also. The kingdom of heaven is near. That's what he said. Only repent. The kingdom of God is here. And the people, amazingly, people heard that and then came to see him out of the city. It was not an easy journey because there was no Uber cab, no mini cab, no black cab, no 275 or whatever, no bus, nothing. No train. So they had to walk. So it was quite a wild journey for them. It is not a long distance, but difficult distance for them. And then what people did, they came out and said, now I did this wrong. They confessed their sins, and then he baptized them with the water from River Jordan. So that's why we still use water. Of course, it you know, depends on which church that you go. You may go to a Baptist church, which has a bigger font, or a bit more modified font, like, like, like we do. But that was John's ministry. But one day, one day, in front of him, a young man called Jesus appeared. And then John knew that this is the Messiah. And John refused. No, I know who you are. I know who you are. But you got to baptize me, not me baptize you. But amazingly, Jesus said, no, no, no. You have to do it to me. Amazing short conversation. That doesn't necessarily mean Jesus made any confession to John the Baptist. He actually didn't do it. But John baptized Jesus 
with the water of Jordan. And then after that, what happened? This heaven was torn open. And then there is a sign of the Holy Spirit coming down from heaven and dwelling upon Jesus in the form of dove. We know that. Now, the image that you have, yes, that's it. And there is a voice from heaven. Several different you know, um, the translations. Some area, like you know, Matthew's Gospel today, I'm well pleased. This is my beloved. This is my son, the beloved. I'm well pleased. Another translation, another Gospel, it says, this is my son, beloved. Listen to him. So there is a slightly different um, you know, understanding about that. But there is a clear action followed after his blessing. So if we see this whole baptism business as a big picture, and if we want to do it one by one, word to word, and if we just are trying to explain or to find a meaning from A to Z, we will spend weeks and weeks and weeks and days and days and days. We might need to spend hours talking about the baptism. But if we crush the baptism, because we haven't got much time to, do, to, to talk about it this morning, if we compress this whole story into the baptism story, into a machine, and if you just extract something out of it, there are several themes. And, and these themes are the ones that I believe they already know and, and I want to make sure that you remember this. If you forget, come back to me or just ask one of them. <laughs> Grab one of them. <laughs> Grab one of them. Okay. And then just ask, what was it again? And then they will give you an answer. Baptism, first of all, is the foundation of our faith. And when we say the faith, faith is not the faith that we keep in our brain and nothing to do with our hands. No. Faith is a something that we put into practice. And then and these are the foundation of that faith. Proactive faith. Sense of obedience. Sense of obedience. John the Baptist proclaimed the message of repentance, not by himself, by the order from God. And even Jesus himself being baptized, not because of he was sinful person. He was a purely man. He was a man with no sin. When we say man without sin, think about his conception. That is not done by the will of flesh, but by the will of God through the work of the Holy Spirit. So his beginning is different from our beginning. So he, even he had nothing to confess with him, he actually gone into the water and received the baptism because of the sense of obedience. When we see the baptism, the very first thing that people put into the John the Baptist regarding the baptism is the sense of asking forgiveness. People came and confessed their sins. And then that means we have to acknowledge our sinful nature, our weakness as a human being. You and I, we are the product of will of, not God, will of human beings. So that means you and I, necessarily, we carry the weakness as a human beings. Baptism is the moment we confess that we are sinful nature, we are not perfect. That is what we say the confession in this context. And when we confess our sins, what follows later is pouring of the water. And then that is, in different words, is a sense of reconciliation. Reconciliation to God. Not only through the sacrament of confession that is especially set 
but also through the baptism, what happens is we going into the presence of God. So, foundations, sense of obedience, from there, we confess our sins, we ask forgiveness, and then what we receive is the grace of reconciliation with God. Through the baptism, we being part of the story in heaven. And then once we're done, what follows us, like Jesus received, is the blessing of God. And then there is always, there will be a voice to us, this is my child, my son, my daughter, I love them, and then therefore I even sacrifice my own son to save them. And then therefore, come and follow me, listen to me, blah, 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 blah. And then there will be a blessing from God in the form of dove. We don't know what spirit, um, in what forms the spirit might come to us. And then our life goes on. And then this is, <clears throat> this is again, baptism is not the end. Don't take it as, okay, I tick the box, it's done. Once you finish, you have to go to the next step, which is confirmation. And then that is the moment when you receive the baptism, not through the water, through the Holy Spirit. That's not what I did. That's normally the bishops do. And then that is even, that confirmation, is not the end of our journey. That is only the beginning of the next step. So when I had, you know, the confirmation, um, you know, a couple of months ago in St. Paul's Cathedral, I was extremely happy to see the newly confirmed, all of them, back to the church on following Sunday. That is, that is what we must do. Baptism is only the beginning of your life in the presence of God, well, I say, the, with the presence of God, on the foundation of sense of obedience, asking forgiveness, your sins being forgiven, therefore you will be reconciled to God and you will live with the presence of God and then that is the blessing. So this is what will happen to you and to all of us. And then we, as a Christian, already Christians, we are here to remember what happened to our baptism. We are also here to be reminded about this baptism. How important and how wonderful it is for us to be able to do this wonderful service called the baptism together. So, dear my brothers and sisters, let us pray not only for ourselves, but for the whole world and also for Denise who are going to be um, you know, baptized um, you know, now in this church, and then his baptism, this baptism, might be a good reminder to each and every one of us. Therefore, we may be able to devote ourselves to the will of God, to the mission of the church, for the furtherance um, of his kingdom. May God bless each and every one of us as we are always be reminded of the importance of our own baptisms. Amen. So, without water, we can't do the baptism. So I'm going to pour. I know you are a fully grown man, but we do our best. So this is not ice cold water. It's quite nice and warm. I can feel that. That's good. You bring that red booklets. If you have the red booklets, now um, the please turn to page 18. If you have green ones, um, that's a page 25. Thank you.
Now, Jesus, can you stand up and come here? No, no, you, you don't need to stand up just to, to be seated. Um, just want to make sure that we can see him. Say hi. <laughs> if you see him on the, on, on the street, now, don't forget to say hi and then just introduce yourself, okay? But maybe later, after um, the um, um, service, when you have a tea and coffee, you don't need to remember all the things that I mentioned. They remember, they know. So grab any of them and then ask what was the procedure, okay? And then they will give you an answer. Um, this is, and we are going to do uh, the baptism for him, and I pray that this is going to be a good reminder to us. If you are agree, the people of God, um, your answer will be, with the help of God, we will. Faith is the gift of God to his people. In baptism, the Lord is adding to our number those whom he is calling. So people of God, will you welcome Denise and uphold him in his new life in Christ? With the help of God, we will. Thank you. And since Denise is not a child, um, he is a fully grown man, so he doesn't need the godparents. So I am not going to ask um, any questions which is related to the parents and the godparents. And then it is a time for him to make his own decision. I'm just hang on a minute. Yep. And then the answers, if you agree, they stay. In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvelous light. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. Therefore, I ask, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbor? Do you turn to Christ as a savior? Do you submit to Christ as Lord? Do you come to Christ the way, the truth, and the life? That's good. I heard his decision, and then this is the very first anointing, and with um, the oil of, um, you know, the catechumens, and that is oil of baptism. And we're going to make um, the sign of cross on your forehead. Christ claims you for his own. Receive the sign of his cross. Do not be ashamed to confess the faith of Christ crucified. Fight valiantly as a disciple of Christ against sin, the world, and the devil, and remain faithful to Christ to the end of your life. May Almighty God deliver you from the powers of darkness, restore in you the image of his glory, and lead you in the light and obedience of Christ. Amen. Praise God who made heaven and earth, who keeps his promise forever. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water to sustain, refresh, and cleanse all life. Over water, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation, and through water, you led the children of Israel from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the promised land. And in water, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us from the death of sin to newness of life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism 
In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. And by it, we share in his resurrection. And through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we baptized into his fellowship those who come to him in faith. Now, sanctify this water that by the power of your Holy Spirit they may be cleansed from sin and born again. Renewed in your image, may they walk by the light of faith and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. So now, brothers and sisters, I ask you to profess together with Denis the faith of the Church. Do you believe and trust in God the Father? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And do you believe and trust in His Son, Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again and ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Now, Denise, I'm going to ask you a question. It's here. What I'm going to do is, Denise, is it your faith? And then if that is your faith, the answer is, this is my faith. Okay? It's nice to um, be able to ask this question. Only um, it's possible when we have um, the grown-up adults, you know, the candidates for baptism. Denise, is, is this your faith? This is my faith. Amen. Now, put your... Turn around. This way. Now, put your head down here. Yeah, that's okay. You hold it in your hands. Yeah. Just bow yours. So. Denise, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Now, this is the oil of chrism, which means the rich blessing of God. May God who has received you by baptism into his church, pour upon you the riches of his grace, that within the company of Christ's pilgrim people, you may be daily be renewed by his anointing spirit and come to the inheritance of the saints in glory. Amen. God has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and has given us a place with the saints in light. Then as you have received the light of Christ, walk in this light all the days of your life. Shine as a light in the world to the glory of God the Father. Now, dear my brothers and sisters, let us pray. 
a faithful and loving God, bless those who care for Denise and grant them your gift of love, wisdom, and faith. Pour upon them your healing and reconciling love and protect their home from all evil. Fill them with the light of your presence and establish them in the joy of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Grace, God of grace and life, in your love you have given us a place among your people. Keep us faithful to our baptism and prepare us for that glorious day when the whole creation will be made perfect in your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, dear my friends, if you can, would you now please stand? There is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. That is, by one Spirit, we are all baptized into one body. We welcome you into the fellowship of faith. We are children of the same Heavenly Father. We welcome you. You may just blow that. You may just blow that. Yeah. Blow it. Yeah, that's okay. Now, just hold it. Um, and you can just put them into the box when we share the piece. Dear my brothers and sisters, we are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to Him through faith and heirs of the promise of the Spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Now let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around, and I'm going to give them a good reminder of their own position. You may go back to your seat, and the service follows as usual. Do you have a, do you have a, yeah, a sprinkler? I think I put it there somewhere. Oh, yes, yes. And then, uh, dear my friends, again, this is the moment when we are going to be reminded of your own baptism. And then again, if you, one of you, are particularly got soaked or got wet, I always say nothing personal. Even if you're staying away from the congregation, ah. now, dear my brothers and sisters, let us sing the offertory hymn together.
Give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and reveal the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing. holy indeed, the source of all holiness, granted by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will. These gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you things. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me.
great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint George, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. O Lord of all time and eternity, you open the heavens and revealed yourself as Father in the baptism of Jesus, your beloved Son. By the power of your Spirit, complete the heavenly work of our rebirth through the waters of the new creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we also say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to St. George's, um, especially here for the first time. Um, Please join us for tea and coffee afterwards. You are most welcome. Um, And talking of afterwards, um, unfortunately, it's that time of year when uh, our Christmas trees have to come down. Um, I call it the classic ten church trees, the four in each pillar and the two here. Um, Next to the tree will be a box. Um, It's numbered. It goes in that box. So if anyone can help, there will be a bag um, with the box. All the, uh, the ball balls go in there. Um, and also, the, if there's two, there should be two sets of lights on each tree. Um, and there's a piece of cardboard inside the bag, and the lights wrap round there. One says A and one says B. So if anyone can help, it would be very much appreciated. Um, and then we will uh, tape the bags up and put them away until... Uh, December this year. I said next year, didn't I? This year. Um, I've been given a note. Uh, There's a Mother's Union meeting on this Thursday, the 11th of January, um, at 2 o'clock in the church. And also, uh, just so you know, the the shield for this month will be uh, uh, January stroke February. So it'll probably be the end of this month. Um, Obviously, it's a busy time of year, etc., etc., so, yes, the shield will be January, uh, February. So um, if you've got any reports, you can still um, bring them in. Please do. Take your pew sheet home with you. Um, and I'd like to uh, say before we uh, finish, um, Tina at the back. Are you able to stand up, Tina, or am I asking too much? There's Tina. Um, and it's her birthday tomorrow. Obviously, me being a gentleman, I never ask her how old she is. You don't do that, do you? So I'm sure we can sing happy birthday to Fortina for tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tina. Happy birthday to you. I've been told the teas and coffee are on Tina. No, only joking. No, no. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, What was it? Ah, yes. I was waiting for this moment. Um, You haven't mentioned this, so I'm going to mention it. All right. PCC meeting tomorrow. It's on the back of the sheet. No. The PCC meeting, we're going to have a PCC meeting tomorrow. And then, as you can see... Um, it was not for me um, the last minute that come this year. You see, I did my duty because um, you know I won't be able to stay very long. As you know, um, I have to actually move to uh, visit another St. George's Church after that. So I cleared, um, you know, my Christmas tree. Well, our Christmas tree, um, you know, the last night. So I cheated. Um, yeah, um, I come, came here early, so sorry, but I did my duty, so all the trees, up to you now. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But even if you are helping, because, again, this is our Christmas tree, we enjoyed it together, so if you could actually um, you know, help, that would be um, much appreciated. And also, when you do it, um, 
please pay full attention um, that, so that we can keep these trees in good conditions so that we might be able to use them in the years to come. And also, um, I, I would need some, some help because we also need to clear um, these, um, you know, the crypt set, um, you know, again. Um, but we will we'll see. Um, I think it might be better for, for us to have, um, um, you know, tea and coffee. Quick, just get your drinks um, quickly and then just join us so that um, we can also... I will need a one or two volunteers. Now, hang on a minute. Excuse service, me. boys, can you help me? Yeah? After the service. Sorted. Sorry. Thank you. Yes. Sorry. Um, in the, uh, the church tree lights, um, there's three batteries. So if you can, when you take, wind the lights up, take the batteries out, and they will go in this box, just in case. We don't want to leave the batteries in because they're obviously uh, they're late during the year. So thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Let's do, um, you know, let, let, let's do a good teamwork. And once again, before I forget, um, congratulations. Um, it's nice to have a um, adult baptism. This is a baptism certificate. Why? Brilliant. Would you all, if you can, please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Christ, the Son of God, perfect in you the image of his glory, and gladden your hearts with the good news of his kingdom, and the blessing of God the Almighty, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Now the Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Now we're going to sing our final hymn, number 188. Yeah.